What's good, everybody? I'm the One-Legged Raven, and I had a couple of things to mention about the gray man mentality. If you're not familiar with the gray man mentality, it's a, it's a school of thought that you make yourself inconspicuous and as mundane and boring as possible so you don't stick out. Well, I'm 6'2", 315 pounds with one leg. Gray man won't apply to me. So, <laughs> here's what's gonna happen. Um, I'm going to completely abandon the gray man idea and focus on um, my support roles, which is communication, supplies, and logistics. Um, but for those of you who have two legs and are in decent good health, um, you might you might want to adopt this. Gray man mentality has a bunch of videos. There's a bunch of videos on gray man um, on on the internet. Um, search search it for yourself and see if it's something that you want to look into but um, a couple of things that fail to get mentioned from time to time is um, political bumper stickers on your vehicle yeah um, might make you a target if you run into a checkpoint with the the opposing side they might uh, single you out for an inspection or detain you or shoot a bunch of holes in your truck so um making yourself as inconspicuous as possible means none of those cool morale patches none of those awesome stickers just leave everything alone um keep everything as stark and bare as possible um you know you can you can be very effective with a good pair of um blue jeans some hiking boots um, a long sleeve cotton shirt and you know a pair of mechanics gloves from Walmart you can do wonders with that you don't need to be all um, super high speed low drag plate carrier 511 tactical pants jump boots <laughs> you know $80 Oakley pilot gloves you don't need all that you just need the basics that's what gray man's all about so um, I'm just here to, I'm not, don't listen to me for what to do. I'm here to throw some ideas out at you. I'm a, I'm a one-sided conversationalist, so I'm going to tell you a bunch of stuff and you can forget everything I said, or you can hop on the internet and look up some things and maybe add one or two tidbits that I mentioned to your repertoire. But that's up to you. Again. Survivalism and prepping is an individual intimacy. Nobody can tell you what the right thing for you is. Um, you're the only one that knows that. The only way you're going to know that is to try it out. So, what does your escape plan need? What does your bug out bag need to have? What are you going to need to survive? That's what matters. So... You do you. Don't let anybody else tell you what to do. Uh, another thing about Gray Man is uh, if you are going to be moving in an urban environment and their society has not completely collapsed, but it's collapsed enough to where there's not law enforcement stopping petty crime and stuff, people are robbing other travelers and whatnot, it might behoove you to have some throwaway cash in a decoy wallet and... Another thing that I was using for my everyday carry pictures when I used to have social media, I would post what I carry in my pockets every day. And I wanted to post with my phone, but I was taking pictures with my phone. So what I did was I went on eBay, and there's a bunch of other sites, you don't have to use eBay, but um, I bought a dummy phone that was the same model as mine. So my case would fit this dummy phone, and it looked just like a regular phone. So... Um, Something to consider. And it was cheap. It was only like 13, 14 bucks. You might consider having a dummy kit. Dummy keys, dummy phone, dummy wallet, throwaway knife. Carry crap gear you don't mind losing just to satiate the the criminals so they'll take your stuff and go. You know, twenty dollars in different bills, you know, or maybe a twenty, a five, a couple ones, just to, you know, take my money money. You know, um, so keep everything stark and bare, no political messages, no tactical stuff. Um, have a decoy EDC, everyday carry, 
and that might be something you're into. But again, to each their own. If you're smelling what I'm stepping in, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.